Hey everyone, Les here from BG Trading. Hope you are well. Today is November 3rd, 2021. We are analyzing Calyon's Lakes, which is, the SX code is KLL. This isn't an EV stock, but it is a stock that could potentially give us 20 to 30 percent if we apply BGS 20 strategy as we speak. I'm going to share with you why we had an amazing last couple of weeks with a lot of our stocks reaching the target we got auto cobra almost reaching the target we had magnum manganese surpassing the target making a lot of money for our members also a tauga tauga just reached target one today and what does it tell this excitement tell us a big red flag right that we need to diversify. It's great to see money coming up, but every time we have massive rises and the stock price is far from the SMA, we will be looking at potential correction. And that's why we are getting out of those stocks now, locking great profits and looking for different opportunities. This is what this video is about. Let's have a look. Just want to remind you, this is not a financial device. It's just us from BG Trading sharing with you how we apply our strategies, BGS and BGS20, to know when to buy and when to sell stocks, how we use the indicators and the KPIs to set up targets, set up stop losses, and obviously avoid FOMO, which is one of the most common mistakes on the stock market especially for beginners. If you like the way we trade and the content, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with someone that you believe could be helping. Also, I'm going to be putting this analysis in our free Facebook community Buy, Grow, Sell strategy for share traders. So have access to this analysis by entering into the community. Now let's jump straight into the company. So uh, Kalyan's Lakes is a mineral company focused in developing the 100% on uh, Bayondi sulfate of potash project in the west of Australia. So the company has a commencement its uh, production state in order to produce 100 tons, 100,000 tons per year of sulfate of potash, either to supply the domestic and international market. I'm going to call sulfate of potash SOP for the purpose of this analysis, all right? Uh, if you don't know what SOP uh, is used for, it's essential nutrient for plants to grow. So it is highly used in fertilizers. The thing in Australia, there's no uh, where else to get this uh, compound. So it's all coming from overseas. The good thing is now with this company, we won't be able to, uh, won't need to, ex uh, to import anymore. We have the product right here to be using the fertilized company. So in New Zealand and the reminding amount, the company will be shipping to Southeast Asia. But why am I interested in this stock? Not just because they are producing, but because the macroeconomics are very interesting to back up uh, the share price of this company, especially now they are starting to produce over the, the medium and the long term. For us, obviously, we're talking about short to medium term, but that really backs up until 2024, 2025 just because we had there are some problems with uh, SOP supply and the, and the price it's going up as well. So now attractive SOP price outlook driven by demand from farms. Crop, price, crop prices are eight years high and anticipate the remind evaluated will keep high at least for the first half of 2022, right? There's also a positive trend for SOP price forecast 
and that could be immediately benefit the expansion of Kalium uh, Lakes for uh, to start producing 120 tons per year of SOP. COVID pandemic also puts a lot of pressure in shipping costs, which means the the product to be shipped to one country to another has also grow, uh, increased price. That means that importing from other countries to Australia became more expensive, giving this company a, a short to medium term competitive price advantage. So that's great. Now, key highlights of this project is the construction is substantially uh, completed and commissioned is underway for the first SOP produced in October 2021. Obviously, this uh, the information that I got from the report was released just uh, uh, just um, in August, but now there is confirmation that production is in place. So there's also low uh, resources intensity on the site. So the plan only uses 30 people, which is pretty cost capital effective as well. That's to produce between 90 to 120 uh, K uh, uh, tons per year. So just, just to keep that in mind. So SOP products is trucked to Perth for collection by end users on the West Coast and for distribution to East Coast of Australia, New Zealand. And as I said before, the excess should go to Southeast Asian markets. So it's a lot of um, demand for this product, obviously, and the price should keep at highs uh, giving this company a competitive uh, price advantage, uh, which is good. Now, let's take a look on the share price. So one of the reasons, look, so one of the reasons we decide to uh, uh, to trade this stock, not first for, for the fact that we want to diversify from uh, Lithuanian stock a little bit, our portfolio, because otherwise uh, it gets, gets too risky. Um, but secondly, we found this uh, stock, uh, price development over the last 12 months. Very interesting for trading. And uh, understanding what's happening behind the scenes as well with the company gives us even more confidence that now could be a very interesting time, time to buy the stock. Look at this. If you have put your money exactly 52 weeks ago in this company, you would have made no money. So 1%. So now... This is not an uh, investment stock, I call it speculative stock, because first is micro cap that has uh, a very low, uh, reasonably low liquidity, to be honest. Uh, also, the volumes of trades are not that high, but it still keeps enough people interested to, um, uh, to trade the stock. Now, uh, the thing is, you see the price swings here, 34%, 22%, 24%. This is 19%, uh, 40% in this uh, big jump here. Then we have another 29%. And now what we want to do is we want to apply BGS to any strategy and chase at least 20% profit on this stock by entering around that's what we call support range channel. Yeah. Now, the company has done its share placement uh, offer for existing shareholders at 18 cents. So I believe that it's very likely the share price will hold uh, at 18 cents or above. It's a natural and should uh, soon bounce back and put the stock back around 22 23 cents. It could be potential targets. Our VAP members know exactly what our target is. Now, the interesting fact, according to BGS20, the, st the stock price is trading under the SMA, which gives us a reasonably discounted price for entering at the current levels, right? Remember, again, this is not a financial device. It's just us sharing how we applied the strategy. So our strategy says 
to buy every time we have a support channel and also some compelling fundamental facts or capital raising or any opportunities that could uh, driven the price up again and we could lock in profits so this is my view on uh on the stock currently trading sideways but is great opportunity to trade and apply bgs 20 strategy time will tell hope to come back in a few weeks and say i told you so. so let's see how it goes obviously i wouldn't put a lot of money in that company but um but it is uh is still a positive opportunity for the more as you can see i would uh, trading on the sma would make sure that it's stop loss stop loss is a must and uh and you gotta keep that in order to protect capital especially when we're talking about micro cap stocks like this guys this was my taking on a uh, calium lakes limited hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. The whole idea when we designed BG Trading BGS 20 strategy was to use only a set number of indicators to make it simple and clear to understand and to be able to apply our KPIs very easily and very effectively. So you don't have to be any Wall Street smart person to be able to apply those strategies. We really hope this course will help you to make better decisions and make successful trades. See you in the course.